In this example, we're asked to find the volume for each of the given shapes. So in the first one, part A, what we have to assume here is that we have a cube because we really don't have enough information otherwise. So I'm going to fill in the lengths of the sides here that are missing. And then for volume, we're going to use length times width times height, which in this case is the same. So it's 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, so we'll do this one first. And then 16 times 4 is 64. So our volume is 64, and we're going to have cubic inches. In our second example here, we're going to need to draw and label a box. It's always nice to have a diagram. Sometimes the three-dimensional ones are kind of hard to draw, so just do your best. So I'm going to say, and it's not really going to be to scale, but it's just so I can keep tracks, because if this is two feet here, this is not really three feet, but just an illustration here. Okay. So we have two feet, three feet, two and a half feet. Our volume, again, is going to be length times width times height. Let's put all of our numbers in. So two times three times two and a half. That's going to be six times. Let's write this as an improper fraction. So that's five halves. If I work with this multiplication, that's going to be 6 times 5 is 30 over 2, which is 15. So my volume then for this box is 15, and we can write feet cubed, or we can say volume equals 15, and write it this way, cubic feet. Either way is correct.